Hi guys, welcome back to another awesome episode of Joey's Science Fair! Yeah! And today we are going to be doing a Procreate tutorial. I just want it noted that I am technically not a professional. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys what I know so far. And this is um, episode number one. I plan on making more in the future for easy and just for beginning. Okay, now let's get started. So, if you're doing Procreate, then first of all, you're going to want to have a brush selected. You can select brushes in the brush library like this. I do the untitled brush. Well, I guess there's three of them. Uh. But anyway, the... This is what I use. You don't have to use it. There's multiple different ones. Actually, we are going to use this one. Let's try this. And we are going to select a color like black. And of course, you can draw. shouldn't be telling you this stuff because by now you'd already know if you're planning on starting Procreate. Like, there's like a sort of setting that you can enable, I think, where... It depends how hard you press. I don't know if that's true. It's just been acting a bit different for me. Anyway, let's just get into the actual stuff. So, one of the main things you should know is about layers. This is layer one and background color. Color. I'm going to set this as the background color. If it wants to. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little sort of parkish area. Actually, it might be a bit better to use this one for it. But, say I don't want to go all over through here, right? Because who would want to fill up a whole entire page? Especially if you forgot how the size works and you're working with this. That would take so long, which is why there's another tool that you have. You can press color fill and go into your white space. Doot, doot, doot. It might have like this sort of white outline, but there's not really much we can do about that. And look, and then you can just like simply go over that. It's very small. Okay, so that's our first layer. And now we are going to now, my, my skills aren't really the best. I'm going to sort of draw a little bit, probably use this first, of grass. And now I'm going to do a table. But say you're not very good at straight lines. There's the solution. So if you want to have a perfectly straight line, then you can just hold down on the line. Hold there. Just keep doing that. Also, you can edit shape to do all sorts of things. Let's do a, let's do a sort of funky one. Let's do a special little table. And there, that's our special little table. Okay, and at this point, you know it's basic because this is just very like simple stuff. Ugh. And now I'm going to draw person it will be a green person at this point I'm just doing whatever I want kind of and just like oh yeah and just like randomly drawing things but yeah yeah just let me know in the comments what you want me to draw below I know 
basically no one except for my friends has ever commented before on my videos, which is sad. Okay, it is going to be a very weird person. But no offense if you actually look like this, even though you won't. There's no way someone can ever look like this. There, that is a very, very normal person. And there's definitely nothing wrong with them. <laughs> That's so funny. And now... Yeah, I'm going to give him a nice little face. So... I'm just going to go through my pictures and find a face for this dude. Um, so, yeah, I will be back in a second. And whoosh! When we are back with a picture to import, which is always very exciting. Um, I don't exactly want you seeing pictures because that's kind of like private information and stuff. So I'm just going to skip to the part where it's in the picture. So, yeah. So now I have selected a table. Why wouldn't I? <sighs> okay. So... I am going to get this guy. His face is officially a table, which is very pixelated. But that's only because I, like, did it so small. Like, I can prove it to you. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you. This is actually how you press it. Now, I'm not going to click on it because then it's going to have all the pictures that I've taken and stuff. But you press the insert a photo button. Trust me, that's what is, it, it's what you do. So, I officially have another table in here. I'm just going to pop that there so that you can see it doesn't really get pixelated. That I wasn't lying to you guys. And obviously you can add shadows, but at this moment in time, there could be a way. If there is, comment down below. I'm sort of learning just like you guys. Well, obviously you are learning if you're watching the video, right? So, yeah, I am basically just figuring it out. But the only way I really know you can do shadows is if you, like, do it like that. Oh. Just had to do that. I just had to. Okay. And now... No, just kidding. And now, after I've given the table a face... I will add clouds. Now with this, you might want transparency, opacity, I mean. Because opacity can sort of, like, be really good for clouds. Like, you don't want this, because then that's, like, basically if you were to erase it. But if you do this, it, it's nice. It's like a nice little thing, nice little feature it's got. Oh, and one more thing. You can add text. Just going to do something very obvious. I'm just gonna just gonna do that. And yeah, you can also like change the fonts. I'm going to try that. I haven't really mastered fonts yet but yeah, i'm trying chalk duster maybe i really like this one chalkboard se i think it's pretty cool hmm why hasn't it done it i'm still figuring things out like i said so yep and for good measure to probably like wrap up the video unless there's like something else in here i forgot uh, mm, no, not really, besides the fact that you can also, um, add emojis. Oh, look, it's already blurred the thing. Okay. Yep. So, meaning, 
I will put squid in here. I will add, add the sun. It's a green sun, hold on. Why is it so green? It's not like that. Come on, God. It, there's no way that's like that. But why is it doing that? I don't know. I'm confused. Oh. Well, never mind. I thought that it was all on the same layer. Well, that is, though, the table and the clouds. Oh, and the table and that weird guy. Um, it's not a very nice looking cloud. It's weird. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's, uh, we'll just stick with that. Oh, I figured it out. Yeah, don't do this, what I was doing. I had the opacity still low. Uh, yep, just going to do a nice little circle. Oh, I made mine a bit too big. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to... Yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty hard to do an exact circle, but I did do it once. It is possible. Okay. I'm just going to delete that because there's no need, really. And... There! Here's our nice little area. It's got a table, a table, a table, a squid... Two clouds, the word cloud, a sun, grass, and a sky. I honestly hope you enjoyed this Procreate Beginners tutorial and that you please smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, just because, you know, this guy says subscribe. He normally wouldn't say the wisest things, but trust me, this thing is very wise. So, anyway, guys, just a nice little flip there. I hope you enjoyed this Beginner's Procreate tutorial, and that I will see you in the next one. Bye!